The back rooms is full of nostalgic looking imagery and themes. Liminal spaces that you feel like you've seen before and levels and creatures that just tickle the nostalgic part of your brain. But what about the old back rooms media that's been lost to time? The levels and objects and entities that have seemingly disappeared without a trace. Well, lucky for you, I've got the Wayback Machine and a stupid amount of free time on my hands, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the nostalgic lost media of the Backrooms fan base from the past three to four years. From old forgotten entities to the original entries for levels, this is the lost media from the Backrooms. If this video tickles the nostalgia bone for you, make sure to drop a like and tell me which one is your favorite piece of lost media down in the comments below. So, without further ado, y'all, let's hop right into this video and let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Entity number 58, aka Poetry. So almost three years ago, in late October of 2020, an entity made its way onto the Backrooms Wikidot named Poetry. The entity had the following description. This video is sponsored by Factor. Are you ready to simplify your nutrition goals and get fresh, never frozen meals delivered right to your doorstep? Yes. Well, if you are, then Factor is your ultimate solution. Especially for those of us who are too busy to cook or who don't want to run to the grocery store a bunch back and forth and who, who don't like cleaning up messes. I don't. But we still want to make sure that we're eating food that is nutritional and fresh. Factors, fresh, never frozen meals are ready within just two minutes, which of course eliminates tons of cooking time and prepping time and all the other stuff. Me personally, I've been able to cut down on the cooking and prepping and shopping time, which gives me more time to make videos for y'all. I also love the variety of meals that you can choose from on Factor. You're not locked into one type and you can pretty much pick whatever you're feeling based off your current hunger and nutritional needs. Also, Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, and with an even wider selection of meals to choose from, there is definitely something for everybody. So if you're looking for easy, fresh, never frozen meals delivered right to your door, then head to factor75.com or you can use code BRUGALLY50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. You heard that right. Head over to factor75.com or click the top link in the description and use code BRUGALLY50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Poetry is a creature that's invisible to the naked eye, but it can be seen through pictures and photographs. The entity can only be found in the darkness of level 6, and if you don't know what level 6 is, then why are you watching the video? But in all seriousness, level 6 is the fully dark level, very dangerous. It's probably actually the first really dangerous one you'll go to. Anyways, Poetry is only there on that level or was only on that level. Physically, the entity resembles a humanoid creature with a very thin frame, and it has a ton of eyes popping out of its head. The eyes can vary in number based on who's taking the picture or where it's at and whatnot, but there's always a ton. The creature also has long, spindly arms that don't have hands, so they're just like big long sticks dragging the ground. And this creature is the reason that level six is so scary. The reason you get that horror feeling just walking through that level. So since the entity can't be seen with human eyeballs, you actually have to use photographs to see it. And you'll know that poetry is near, even if you haven't taken a photograph, because when it's close, your skin will start to dry out and you'll just be flooded with this dryness. And you'll pretty much just start flaking away. Internally in your mind, Mind, you'll also be flooded with this negative emotion, these huge thoughts of depression and, and these very sad thoughts. You'll suddenly feel the need to just end everything. After about three hours of being exposed to poetry, you'll, you'll pretty much be done for. I mean, you won't be able to resist your intrusive thoughts and you'll unalive. The entity approaches its victim slowly at first, and since you can only see it through pictures, by the time you take a picture and look at it, it'll already be close right in front of you. The entity itself was discovered in an unknown way, but it was sometime during the initial searches of level 6, back when the backrooms was discovered. When an explorer came across another person in level 6 who had extremely flaky and dry skin and was acting very erratic. Actually, at first, that explorer thought the dude was just turning into an insanity, so he was trying to walk away, but then that guy told the explorer to be careful in the dark. Nice. 
So the entity was added to the Backrooms Wikidot in late 2020, and then it disappeared without a trace sometime between October 30th, 2021 and November 4th, 2021. It was entity number 58, and that slot is now being used by the Atom entity, which was added soon after Poetry's deletion in 2021. Now, I distinctly remember this entity, and it was actually one of my favorite ones back in the day, and when I randomly thought about it a couple days back, that made me think to make this video. But but RIP in the chat for poetry. It was good while it lasted. The original level fun. At the very beginning of the Backrooms Wikidot, as far back as the Wayback Machine goes, in August of 2020, a very infamous level was created by 1000 Dumplings. The level, of course, being level fun, equal sign, parentheses. The page consisted of less than a hundred words, and it was described as follows. Level fun is the most fun level in the back rooms. It's a small party room with lots of cake and cookies and almond water. We have so much fun here. Don't upset the host. And then the only colony being the party goers, of course. To enter the level, you could no clip through level one ceiling, or the more famous entrance that you might remember is if you see confetti falling from a window over in level 188, you can jump through that window and you'll be sent here as well. Honestly, just looking at this page gives me major nostalgia from like the early 2020 backrooms. This original post was just one of those levels that gained this really big cult following. And it was just one of those things you look back on and you're like, wow, you know, just really nostalgic to look at. To be honest, I really enjoyed it. Kind of makes me smile to see it in this way. Level fun stayed on the Wikidot in some form or fashion until late 2022, and then it disappeared to never be seen on any wiki again. Now, the fandom wiki has sort of rewritten level fun in a way, and it takes the form of level 338, but it's not the same as the nostalgic original that I'm sure all of you remember from the very beginning of the fan base and the very beginning of your hyperfixation with the backrooms. This original level fun was featured way back two years ago at the beginning of my channel, and it seriously holds a special place in my heart, and I know it does for a lot of you as well. Level 9.1, The Crimson Forest. So this backrooms level was literally my favorite one since the beginning of my infatuation with the backrooms. And it was a ton of y'all's favorites as well, considering the video I made about it and has like 2 million views. Seriously, it was amazing. The level came to be in the later part of 2020, and I actually made a video on it just under a year later in October of 2021. But this was one of the first enigmatic sublevels ever. Anyways, the Crimson Forest was a safe sublevel of level 9 and it was classified as a class habitable area where you could live a 100% safe life, devoid of danger, devoid of entities, and devoid of anything that wants to hurt you. The level was a beautiful expanse of thick forests blanketed with a cool, foggy mist, and it was overseen by entities known as lanterns that kind of floated around and lit up the whole area. The flora and the fauna of the level were all shades of crimson red, which is, of course, where the level got its name. The tectonic plates underneath the level are not just flat like usual. In fact, this is the first weird enigmatic part of it because the tectonic plates crumble and fold on top of each other. What does this mean? Well, it actually means that the sky above you is more ground. So if you just, if you look up, you won't see the sky like normal, you'll see more trees, and you can walk there if you just walk straight in, in line. The level also stays at a chilly 8 degrees Celsius and has this really calming, cool vibe. Even though there aren't many real dangers in the forest, there are some unnatural creatures that lurk deep inside of it that could be a problem if you make them mad. Creatures resembling big bears and wildcats and creatures with six legs that kind of lurk deep inside, all of which, of course, are a shade of red. They don't mind the presence of humans or anything, they just keep going on like normal if they see you, just don't make them mad or whatever. There's absolutely no Wi-Fi or no outside world connection at all inside the sublevel, which means you are completely cut off from the outside world. And since that's the case, and much of level 9 itself is dangerous to even get here, most people who make it to the Crimson Forest end up staying forever and calling it their home. And speaking to that, there are several outposts and colonies that have been started. Those being Rosewood, the Cabins of the Lost, and the Independent Cabins. All of which are inhabited by wanderers who choose to live here in this perfect level, this crimson oasis away from the hell of the backrooms. 
Now, the only way to get to this sublevel is through the extremely dangerous Crimson Field, which is the field that's like a bridge between the main level 9 and the sublevel 9.1. It's that in-between part. So if you somehow make it past the Crimson Field, you'll be likely to stay here forever since it's really hard to get back out. And a lot of people have done this. They're just there forever. I mean, that, that level is so good. I mean, seriously, I, I really wish it wasn't deleted, but it, it was amazing. Seriously, it was my favorite one. The Crimson Forest disappeared from the Wikidot sometime in early 2022, never to be seen again, after being a staple in the community for over two years. Now, the good news is that it's over on the Liminal Archives website, and that's actually the original page and pictures as well, but since it disappeared from the Wikidot, that's why I included it in this video. But seriously, I love this level. I thought it was the best one. Definitely the best sub-level. Wish it would come back. Leave a like if you want it to come back too. Maybe we can convince them to bring it back or something. And finally for this video is entity number 114, or the Penumbras. And this entity was added to the Backrooms Wikidot way back in 2020 as well, back when the Wikidot was really getting steam. And it exists on the furthest back Wayback Machine page I can find. I really remember this one because it was so popular. I actually didn't remember it until one of the Wikidot members told me about it, and then I recall adding it in a video that's now deleted. But when I say this entity was popular, I mean it was up there with like face lanes and stuff. It was one of the big dogs. So Entity 114, or the Penumbras as they call themselves, by the way, Penumbras means shadow, like specifically the partially shaded outer region of a shadow cast. Anyways, these entities look relatively like humans, but they talk to each other through these advanced languages, and they can kind of like telekinetically talk somehow. They seem to be really wise and crafty as well. They normally are over seven feet tall, and they have dark gray or black skin with pale sunken eyes, and they have no mouth. Even though they can talk, they have no mouth. They normally wear raggedy old clothes, and their most prominent feature, of course, is their massive horns that stick out from their head. These creatures always seem to live together in these packs and societies in this kind of feudal-like system, almost like some sort of kingdom. They act very tribal in nature, and they make little houses to live in, and they make little tools to use and stuff like that, and they always have these, like, chiefs that control them. Pretty much, they're just these shadowy figures that live in big groups that act kind of like a kingdom. They were seen often living amongst facelings back in the day, and they also have been seen working with them. They populated level 11 at one point, and they populated any other place facelings were popular. It was always facelings and penumbras working together. The faceless humans and the shadow humans. It was always those two entities. In the lore, the first Penumbra was seen way back in 2008, and then after that, they were spotted all throughout the backrooms levels as more and more of it got explored. It was very common to just see them walking around. Penumbras disappeared a whopping two years ago in 2021 from the Wikidot, and the Entity 114 spot has since been filled up with a creature called Lotka. But many OG backrooms fans still remember the original Entity 114, Penumbras. Much like the Crimson Forest level, the Penumbra page is located over on the Luminal Archives Wikidot. If you want to go check that out, you can. It's pretty much a direct copy of the original wiki post, but since the actual original was lost from the Wikidot, that's why it's included on this list, and just from how nostalgic it is. If you're an OG Backrooms member, you remember the Penumbras. Maybe not. I mean, it was lost for two years, so... That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny trip down memory lane. I know I did. Uh, there are so many more lost pages and entities and objects and levels that I could do. So drop a fat like if you want me to do more. I love to do more. I love just looking back at the past. It's, it's so nostalgic. Seriously, this fandom has grown so much. But looking back at the roots is always amazing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for everything. And I love and appreciate you all. And I will see you in the next video.